Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. When we left off last time, we made it to a new area. Hollywood! So, let's continue exploring. Whose phone is ringing and ringing? Huh? This one here? Oh, hello? The moon is a mysterious mistress. Um. She is? Oh, bummer. There was probably something way more interesting going on there, and... Oh, well. Speaking of... Uh, I read that book with it once. Uh, someone mentioned in the comments that I clicked on the wrong book over here. I don't know. I have two that I need a research of six for. Well, that's just waiting, then. Alright, then. So... What do we want to do first here? We've got our quest for uh, Velvet. <laughs> Vivi. We've got the Prince's quest, but that can just wait a minute. Let's go to the Lucky Star Motel. I think I really want to follow up on that one. Okay, so where is the Lucky Star? Everything is all pretty much in a line here, so we should be able to find it quite easily. It's this way, I think. Yeah, that star up ahead would be it. Mm, internet cafe and gaming center. Yeah, I know, I'm easily distracted. We'll get to the lucky star, but what's this? Guitar again. I like this background music. Huh. Hollywood Celebrity Database. Begin your search. Alright, let's see what you got. Alonso Alfredo. Hunky action star of syndicated TV detective show Beef Bartlow now serves up sandwiches named after his character at Jeremy's famous deli in nearby Beverly Hills. Right. What about Safi? A former dancer at the local Vesuvius Club, Safi is one of the few active adult film stars who also occasionally appears in mainstream media, known to drop in from time to time at the club where she made her name. Huh, maybe we'll run into her. Lingo. Rap superstar and entrepreneur, best known for his platinum albums I-69, Lingo, and Weed Metaphor. Lingo owns several sweatshops in the area that turn out urban wear for his clothing line, All Up On Ya. Known as the Olivier Chimp Actors. Oh, he really is a monkey? Captain Bananas began his career as Trent Taylor's sidekick in the CI8 film series that Chunk was talking about. Now stars in the popular TV drama Ape Detective, part owner of Hollywood hotspot Fling. How can a monkey be part owner of something? Okay. Gita Ann, what you got? Gary Golden? Gorgeous Gary Golden was the star of such 30s classics as Tap Hotel and Singing Honeymooners. He later became a popular dramatic character actor in films such as Skies of Nevada. Shortly after his last film in 1960, Golden disappeared and was legally declared dead in 1965. But he's probably actually a vampire, maybe, and we'll run into him. That would be kind of cool. All right. Amalia, Emilia, model famous for her racy covers in high lifestyle. Emilia, maybe Emilia. Claimed residence in Hollywood for several years. Tragically, her career was cut short in its prime. Her car was found wrecked at the base of the Hollywood Hills. Her remains burned beyond recognition. She could actually be a vampire, too, who faked her death. <laughs> Johnny Jerkass. <laughs> Johnny Jerkass, host of popular prank show Sight, films most of his show on the streets of Hollywood. Famous pranks filmed on this very street were the wife hit by bus, the stripper is really a dude, and that's not really beer. All right. Natalia Cross, superstar of the late 50s to late 60s, known for her class and natural beauty. In 1968, Cross was brutally murdered at her house in the Hollywood Hills. She is buried in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. And there's a cemetery here that we can get to, right? So maybe we're gonna help her ghost. Some of these are probably just here for ambiance, just to add to things, but 
I want to meet today's people. I want quests involving them. Zed Lungfish? The Lungfish, infamous for his onstage debauchery during his concerts, owns and operates the crematorium here in Hollywood. Interesting. Alright, and to our... Nivbed. If you want to spot this artist, try West Hollywood, but approach with caution. He's easily provoked to dangerous levels of sass. Alright. Jazz Oppenheimer? Or maybe Jazz? Yas? Producer of such films as Guy Fox Day, Explosion Every 60 Seconds, and Boston Harbor. Gets his hair done at local salon Jump Cuts, and has been spotted buying music at local record store Savvy Ballads. Jim Revolta. Oh my. Okay, let's type it properly. Removed from database at request of church and <laughs> solicits. Okay, you get, you get big points for that game. I very, very much appreciate this one. Wonderful. And Ash Rivers. After his breakout performance in the film Negative Zero, Rivers garnered huge, garnered huge critical and commercial success in three more films before a shocking early retirement. Rivers spends most of his time these days managing his club, The Ass Pole, found right here in the heart of Hollywood. Alright, and then S through Z. Frankie Sammy. Wise cracking star of 70s TV show What's the Word, Sammy was found bludgeoned to death at the local Lucky Star two years after his popular show was cancelled. Oh wow. Tawny Sessions. Uber model Tawny Sessions has an apartment right here in Hollywood and can often be found window shopping in Beverly Hills. Ginger Swan. Swan, a name synonymous with beauty and glamour to this day, was a great celebrity of the late 40s and early 50s. Her credits included such movies as Gilded Hummingbirds and When No Means Yes. After her passing in 1964, she is interred in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery Mausoleum. Alright, and Margaret Tang. The most in-demand voice director in town, Margaret is known for coaxing brilliant performances, and sometimes tears, out of her actors. Currently working in Hollywood on several A-list titles, including the animated adventures of Foulmouth, the F, Foulmouth the Friggin' Chicken, <laughs> and Frankenstein, Breadlust. Hmm. So I'm, I'm hoping that noob camper, huh? That much like the crime pewter, this is something <laughs> that will eventually be used. <laughs> just spot in the can. <laughs> All right, this game's having too much fun with these. Uh, okay, email. Virus alert. I'm gonna totally get a virus on this computer. MAV has detected a virus in the attachment of this message. The virus has been quarantined and a notice sent to that address, okay. So let's go to what else can we do? Apps. Access denied. Your account balance is 56 cents. To recharge your account, please speak to a Ground Zero employee. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. That's it, right? Yeah. Five dollars per hour. You must sign in. No porn. Ooh. I want to play the game. Pick up All right. Nothing interesting in the bathroom. Not that I really expected there to be. Oh, there's just the one. Okay, that says men. Where's the ladies' room? Maybe everybody just has to share. Ooh, let me get over here. Four email messages. Hmm. Tell me hello. Hi, I am Ayako. Let's English practice. Your homestay, how it is? America must be so coolest. You are in Hollywood? Are you in a movie? Love, Ayako. So we just hacked some guy, uh, I'm guessing 
tell me, Ayako, Japanese? Present, Kenta and I ate konomiyaki of Yokohama. That extremeness was tasty. What is eaten in America? Does they eat the Japanese food? I must investigate. Bye bye, Ayako. You can eat Japanese food. Oh man, if you ever happen to be in the Ann Arbor area in Michigan, go to Ichiban on Washtenaw. Their sushi is fantastic. Are you Americans have long legs? Are you date American boy? Is the image sent? It is happy. Ayako. This weekend, I go to the hot spring where my family has been attached. This is something that I wish we had. There's no hot springs in Michigan. But you always see, like, in Japanese, like, anime and manga and whatever, that they got hot springs. And man, I bet that would be fantastic. I'm excited very. Let's... Oh. That's right. I go to the hot... Yeah, we got that. So. When we are the child, is Yuki... Is Yuki... I think that's how you say it, right? Which is the friend to us remembered. She's also inquired about thing in America. Is the pleasant time past? Send many images due to me, Ayako. And that's it. So basically, we just. I don't know, we just spied into a little piece of somebody else's life. You should have logged out, but well, I mean, we cracked his password, so we can't really hold that against him. I don't know, I feel guilty about that. Not that we read anything bad or anything, but. I mean, we just read somebody's private correspondences and it wasn't quest related or anything. Oh well. Let's check this door back here. Employees only? Sure, I'm an employee. Facts. Hmm. Well, and that's it. Well, I'm sure this place will become relevant at some point. But not a whole lot for us to do there now. Except enjoy the background music. All right, lucky star, there you are. What's this though? Well, this is cozy. Hello? Sorry, no vacancies. I'm just looking around. Feel free, babe. This is a treasure trove of human banality. Working here, you meet lots of types of men. You, you get stories, you get characters, you know. I mean, this this kind of place where writers go to study human behavior, man. It, it's invaluable. So, you're a writer, eh? What do you write? Does a writer write, or does he just, like, ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120-page piece of film genius? But you, A good writer writes. My subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that, that's what I write mostly, I guess. <laughs> horror films, eh? What kind of horror film are you working on? Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Oh, come on, come up with something more original than that. Netflix, sorry, popular yeah. Characters. But me, I'm gonna be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it gonna be scary, but it's gonna be like, it's gonna be believable. Yeah. Don't you want to investigate other types of monsters? Vampires are, it's so done. Come up with something else. Come up with the types of monsters that are more obscure, your more interesting type ones. Come on. Like, there's, you've got all these nations in the world with all kinds of interesting, various types of folklore. You could come up with something way cooler than just vampires. Come on. Break the mold, buddy. All right, what do you know about vampires? Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff, you know, like... What would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? <laughs> Sounds to me like you know too much. You must die. No. Uh, I mean, he hasn't really told us anything that necessarily makes us think at this point we need to kill him, so... Cool. But still, though, do something other than vampires. Do something about... Other than vampires or zombies, because those are really done, too. Do something about, I've been playing The Witcher, so do something about some of those types of monsters, like your Lushies and your Resulkles and whatever stuff. Stuff that I'm not even entirely sure what it is, because I've not heard of them before. Isn't that more interesting? Hey, Instead of the stuff everybody knows? Alright, like what do we got back here? Oh, this is pretty. 
Oh, too bad. The pool's empty and looking really scummy. Wow. Yeah, you guys need to do something about that. Hmm. Okay, but I gotta have a key card to get in there. It's an eight, and mine is six. Oh, how much does the? I know that I should know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah it'll do. Hello. Ah, oh, they don't even get sheets. This is disgusting. If I actually paid money to stay in a hotel, I would demand a refund if this is what the bed looks like. That's that. <gasps> There's muddy. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> um. Hello? Brother Salvage. That's it for in here, huh? So what, did his body fly off down there? Like, where did he go? Alright, let's look for some clarification in the quest log. Our hey, found a business card from Brother Savage. At the latest murder scene. And that has, yeah, it's combined all my uh, muddy and everything, but... What happened? It was so sudden, and there was, like, some guy flying around, and I'm assuming it was muddy. Don't know where the body is. Let's check down here. No, that was just kind of a weird situation. Well, rather salvage. The restaurant we need to check up on, right? No. Is it? No, no, this is a different one. We needed an Italian restaurant. Auger resources, huh? Also, can I get in here? Oh, yeah, the space burger chunk was talking about. With the guacamole. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the <gasps> of night. Booberry. Fall asleep next to and Frankenberry. The radio into bed. Count Chocula. These are the best. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code three two three. Oh, I don't recognize the wolf though. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak. To <laughs> Chin. <laughs> why aren't you? Uh, uh, insects. Insects. As in or chirping crickets are keeping you up, or you have nightmares about them. Help me out here. Hey, what's... What? my car again! Oh, wait, I don't even have a car, dude! Oh, goodness. Are there any scientists out there listening to this? They should, like, combine pizza and nachos together and call them piznachios? Man, I could go for some Piznachios right now. <laughs> oh, this guy's ridiculous. You know, they voluntarily eat inside. Oh, this is really gross. 
Hey there, how's it going? Sleep at night. Uh, I assume you do sleep, right? Uh, I sleep at night. I wonder how that is my two a burrito is in the middle of the That would explain why my nephew invested that 20 I sent him for his birthday on the magic bean. Yeah, you know anything about the serial killer? Uh, this isn't gonna turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not a serial killer, are you? Now, what do you do for a living? I'm Roger. So, what else goes on around here? And what do you, you do, come out and see my Roger? Band about uh, I wonder if you play tomorrow night. No, I might have seen it. Well, I haven't finished any screenplays yet. Sounds great. So, have you done any other Anything else? Yeah. Well, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore. Why not? Stories that are crawling around in the old noggin. So, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because um, I once fixed my toilet. No, I'm not into that. Thanks. Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer? But I can't resist the temptation. Uh, hey, you know, syrup you should really ask me about the special, chocolate you know? Chocolate syrup or peanut butter. Alright, so what's the special? I have to dip these potato chips in something. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something. Yeah? I got the special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grape juice. Let's see if anyone else agrees. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. Are you ready for a menage a trois? You interested? Sure thing, Deb. And would you please state what you do? A weapon, huh? You're, you're selling weapons out of a convenience store. Okay. All right, what you got? Well, for our writer on the phone, interesting chance to pitch your screenplay. Is that okay, line two? No, that's my stuff. His stuff is over here. Okay. Chocolate syrup or peanut butter. I could buy it. Chocolate syrup or peanut butter. Light leather. It's gonna be better than heavy clothing, right? These potato chips and something. Well, it's not like I'm doing anything else with my money, right? Alright, do I have anything I can sell? I'm sure I do. Like this that I don't want. And the baton? <laughs> I got that. The video game and more characters. Oh my. Oh, I got a lot of morphine. I'll sell some of that. Hold on to a couple in case. Combine pizza and mm. nachos together and call them pisnachios? I mean, sell these. There's three of them, so I don't think they're anything in particular that's special. I'm just get it out of here. Sell these. Well, line two, what do you think? You're gonna option it or not? Not selling those. And we're gonna hold on to this and hopefully get better research at some point. Sell these crappy watches. And the orthotricycline. I don't think we need that. Alright. Yeah, let's buy this. Thank you. Oh yeah, looking good. Other than our hat, why doesn't our hat ever change? Oh well. I mean, we're trying to look all tough and stuff. We got this leather outfit and the jeans, but that that little beanie just doesn't really match. Oh well. Okay. What else do we want to do here? We have actual quests to accomplish. Okay, that was the internet cafe. There was the lucky star. This is actually, I wanted to go maybe over here. And then I'll sit down the street. Is there anything even back here? Hmm. Oh, just the stock room. Nobody to fall asleep next to. Go ahead and play the game to them. That's cool. And hey, why don't you come? No, what's over here? Settle down, rat. I'm not gonna eat you. Not right now, anyway. Oh yeah, we were up here before. Okay. And I will eventually check out the sewer as well, but first. Uh, we might as well hit this as well. Well. I am. Just a little low.
Thank you. An extremely noisy cricket. I don't mind them when they're outside, but when they get inside and there's like one cricket chirping somewhere in the house, that's the worst. You just want to sleep and it's chirping all night. Cavaletti Cafe. Aha, this is a place we need to go. It looks really nice from the outside. Stolen artifact and current sarcophagus stolen from museum. Indeed. Evening. More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Uh, I am not a server. I have been a server. Nothing against server, but dude, I'm not your waitress. I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important <gasps> opening? You're the fella I, I need. Emphasize I am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Well... I was told to ruin your review, so... Oh, I also wanted to mention, too, because I've been thinking about this, and this is totally not related to what's going on here at all, but last time when I was kind of musing about what to do about this Ankar and Coffin situ sarcophagus situation, and if it was, in fact, that there's an answer to Luvian and the prince is intending to drain him dry, and I, I don't know, I was kind of thinking my way through it as I was talking, and at the time I was saying in the last episode that, well, maybe it wouldn't be so terrible if that's what the prince is doing, even though it's against the vampire laws, because, I mean, he's looking out for me, so maybe it benefits me if he's stronger than like that. But it didn't, I don't know, even as I was saying it, something didn't sit entirely right. And I mused about it more on my own time, because it just kind of stuck with me. And I'm thinking that, no, that's wrong. Because my loyalty isn't really to the prince. I've chosen the Camarilla, basically, at this point. And the Camarilla's laws are that you don't get to drain any other vampires. So... If the prince is planning to do that, what I would really need to do is ideally, if the game would allow me, is notify someone else higher up in the Camarilla, and if not that, then I would need to temporarily make an alliance with the Anarchs to mete out punishment to the prince about that. I couldn't just count on, well, I'm his underling so he'll protect me, because first off, he seems like the kind of person who potentially, I mean, he was, he would have killed me from the start if he could have, so I can't. I can't really count on him looking out for me. I think as soon as I become inconvenient for him, then he probably would turn on me. And even beyond that, if he does that and he's caught, then the rest of the Camarilla is all going to come down hard on him, and possibly me as an accomplice, right? So, yeah, if, if we get any options involving the sarcophagus, if it is in, indeed an antediluvian and and it seems like the... I mean, possibly the prince said that he just doesn't want it to get into the wrong hands. Okay. If that's true, then I'm happy to help him, but if he gives us any indication that he actually has motives, selfish motives for it, and plans on draining it himself, then we're gonna have to try to find a way to stop him. Alright, so anyhow. Let's try and upset this guy. Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, Chower hour? <laughs> Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. Well. Should we threaten him? Alright, it'd be hard to eat with no teeth, wouldn't it? Listen, Jackass, I can become the biggest critic in LA without making a few powerful friends. Half the owners of these places are criminals, and I eat their table when I drop by. Alright. Well, I really need to ruin your meal, so how do I do that? Hmm. I guess I'm leaving for now. Giving him a beating might lead to a bad review. I don't want to accidentally kill him, though. That'd be kind of horrible. Oh, and I can't even get inside. Okay, so whatever it is, it's... Well... Bad news, friend. Leave me alone, Cassandra. Hey, stop right there. Who? Ah, dang it. I don't actually want to hit you. Okay, so where is this quest? Nope, nope, that's not the way to do it. Quest failure. 
Well, good thing we uh, saved. But I'm possibly going to fail it anyhow. Shoot. Well, we'll give him some time and maybe check back in with him later. Ooh, this is a really cool looking place. Aww. Abram's Golden Age Jewelry. Oh, no necklaces for me. Unless... Greetings! Good evening, Neonate. Isaac hey. Abrams. I've been expecting you. Oh, yeah. It seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Settle down, settle down. Alright, I'm just looking for news for Odd 2. So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. Yeah. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind, and asking for my help of all peoples. Well, where can I find them? Perhaps. In the sewers. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. What are you talking about? Nobody said anything about tribute. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. Alright, I'm calling you old-fashioned. So, just what do you think? I'm not paying you, Jack. Fine. Well, not necessarily fine that'll pay. What do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Is it a blackmail movie and he's afraid that if he meets you in person you'll kill him? I'll go find this movie. And I'll find somewhere to watch it, because I want to know what it is. Also, you're worried it's a setup, so you're going to send me instead? Speaking of paranoia, no. Simple pickups, all that's involved. Go to if the you say so. Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Assuming it goes over as smoothly as you're saying, then no, not painful at all. But... Alright, I'll do it. I have some questions if you'll answer them, though. There'll be plenty of time for questions later. All right. I'll explain everything when you get back. Very well. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Well, welcome thanks for that, at any rate. Good. Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. What? We didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you. We thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. Uh, who who are you? It's me, Samantha. Don't you Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll, we'll get everybody. Don't do it. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Uh, I'm good, Samantha. Thanks, anyhow. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see. Everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here. I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. You don't actually know me. Because being a vampire doesn't make me lose all my previous memories. You're trying to do something strange here. I'm a follower. Hey, Jenny, yeah, it's Sam. You'll never believe who I found. You know who disappeared a little while ago? 
Yeah, I know. I couldn't believe it either. Just walk by me in Hollywood. She's right here. Anyhow, something seems wrong, and I, I wonder if you could call a few people and... Well, she didn't recognize me at first, and I think it might be drugs or something. She needs our help. Okay. Well, well maybe... Maybe we could check her into a hospital or get the police involved. Well, we can't just leave her like this. She's... All right, call them, and, and I'll keep her here. Just let everybody know that she's alive, and we're going to get her some help. I'm fine. <gasps> Masquerade violation. Mm -mm. Well, I don't want a masquerade violation, it's but I am curious. It's not. Is anyone going to actually come, though? It's going to be okay. Is she going to follow me now? What a psycho. What's going to happen, though? Is anyone going to actually come? I'm curious, but I'm also impatient. And I'm upset about that masquerade violation. Ah, oh, two strikes. No good. Alright, I don't know what your story is, weirdo. But we're just going to run away. And hopefully I won't get the masquerade violation. I know she's going to the phone, but I don't really want to, like, kill her before she calls anybody, so I'm just going to get out of here. Maybe if I just don't wait, then I'll be fine. Oh, this is where we want to go anyhow. Alright. Which one was Kafka now? No, this is the... Yeah, just okay. There we go. Alrighty. Meet me in the alley behind the fast buck. Will do. Alright, fast buck. Is that the... No, this is the red spot. Let's go look at the map. The moon is a mysterious mistress. Ah, there's got to be more to that. I want the right answer. Alright, fine. Um, this is what I was looking for. Fast buck is not here. Okay. Or is it like one of the little ones that's. It wouldn't be one of the little ones that's not marked, right? Fast buck. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, alley behind it. Ah, you must be the person I've been sent to meet. How do you? Yeah? What do you want? Uh, you guys have with, with the uh, tape? Yeah. yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, bitch! Settle down. So, uh... What is going on here? Alright. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Why? What's it a tape of? Uh, Spill the beans. I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing... It's sick. It can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Alright. 
Is it really that bad? Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the things that are happening to her, it just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. So, what's after you? Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows, my phone rings, I hear something breathing on the other end, and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. All right, well, good luck with that. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Well, where is it? I need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Shit. Did you see that? No. I'm getting the fuck out of here. What the? Oh, Christ! Ah! Hmm? <laughs> Nosferatu popped up out of the sewers and yanked him down, didn't it? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, Ginger Swan, we need to go to her grave. But... The only clue I have is Ginger Swan, and I have a feeling that game's not going to let me get into the cemetery until I hit things in the right order, right? Because it wouldn't let me in there before. So, back to the internet cafe. We know where to go to look her up, and that should update our quest log. And then we can probably go over to her grave. So then, there it is. S through Z. Swan. There we go. She's a deceased movie star. She's buried in the cemetery here. Alright, excellent. So, I think what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time, I do want to, I really want to check out the cemetery. But also, before we get too far along in things, I kind of want to dip into the sewer just to see if we can find anything on our own. I mean, obviously that's where the Nosferatu are. So can we get a hold of them? Maybe not. We might have to go through the proper sequence of quests to be able to actually do anything down there. But I just want to root around, see what there is to see.